Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, uh, my channel is Agile Beauty. I am a makeup enthusiast and uh, an influencer. I love to make makeup videos and I love to share new products with you guys. So for this makeup look, I am uh, using minimal products. This is a no makeup makeup look, something you can wear on a daily basis to work or even when you are relaxing at home and you wanna look glamorous. Um, this will work for any of those occasions. A lot of the steps in here are optional and I have identified those optional steps uh, throughout my video as well. So, so if you wanna see how I create this no makeup makeup look, then keep on watching. All right, so for a no makeup makeup look, um, the idea behind this is to keep your face looking as natural as possible. So I've already moisturized my face uh, and prepped it for a foundation application. But before we do that, we still have to put our face primer on. So I would go ahead with the Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. I've used it for years. In fact, um, you know, long, like so many years ago when I first started doing makeup and using professional products I this was used to be my go-to face primer it still is um, I use it very frequently what I love about this is that it really fills in in those uh, pores and really smooths them out for a nice seamless foundation application so I really love that next up I will be going in with a medium um, light to medium coverage foundation because that's what I want. I don't want a very cakey face or cakey look. So for that I will be using two stick foundations. They are fairly new in the market. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundations. They are superb. I've used them for quite a few months now and really love them for a nice everyday makeup look. Um, I will be using two colors, almond and amber for this. So I'll just um, mix in both the shades. Sometimes it is hard to find one shade that would uh, do the job. So you have to sometimes mix in two different shades to get that perfect right shade for your skin. And you can see that I am really layering this on because I want a nice coverage. But if you don't want a good coverage or you just want a very, very light coverage, you can use few strokes of this and it should be good. So I'll go ahead and blend this out with a beauty blender. You don't have to use a beauty blender for this. Um, you can use a brush as well. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I usually end up using a brush. Uh, but because I have a few, well, I have a little more time today, uh, I'll go ahead and use my beauty blender to blend this out. All right, so next up is um, getting those under eye circles taken care of. And for that, I will be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'll go ahead and just lightly apply this product all through my under eye. You can also use this in certain areas on your face which you would like to conceal or highlight. And now you can go ahead and blend this with a beauty blender. And you can set the under eye and the areas that you applied the concealer on with Laura Mercier setting powder or any setting powder if you like. I choose Laura Mercier because if you have been following me, you know that I really love this powder. The idea is not to leave it on. I will not be baking at this point because it is a natural looking makeup look. I want it to look natural and I do not want it to look overdone. And now for the eyes, there's nothing that you absolutely have to do for the eyes, but I do like contouring uh, my crease and my outer V a little bit to give it a my eyes a little bit extra pop and dimension. And so for that, I will be going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Single Eyeshadow. This is in Caramel. And I'll go in with a large uh, fluffy brush and go ahead and apply that color very lightly to the crease. So oh, it doesn't look like you have makeup on, but it still looks very well put together. Looks like you naturally have those creases and contours. And I will go ahead with a darker shade and just uh, carve out my outer V. And for that, I will be using Mocha by Makeup Geek eyeshadows. It looks like that with a tapered brush. Just slightly, very ever so slightly just outline the outer way 
This isn't a necessary step, but if you are interested in uh, creating some little dimension around uh, your eye, uh, your eyelashes, you can go in with a cold pencil and just um, lightly line right above your lashes and then smoke it, smoke it out with a brush, which is what I'll be doing. So I'm just using any cold pencil. This is the tartiest one. And I'll just go ahead and just ever so slightly line my lashes here. Very, very slightly. And then take a brush like that and smoke that out. You see you, you have the, that harsh line up there. What you can do is nicely go in and blend it out with the rest of your eyeshadow. Now for the eyebrows. Everything in, with this look is optional you guys but I am very picky about making sure my eyebrows are done before I leave home. <laughs> so for that I will be filling in my eyebrows with the L'Oreal Brow um, Stylist Definer. This is in, 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 in Dark Brunette. Go ahead and just, like usual, fill in my brows. To highlight the brow bone area, which is also pretty essential, um, I'll be going in with uh, the Sigma uh, Bright to Light Highlight Duo. Um, I got this in one of my brow expert kit from Sigma. And I'll go in just with a flat shader brush and just highlight the eyebrow bone area. And now to finish up the eyes, I'll go ahead and put a very volumizing mascara. Um, for this look, mascara will play a huge role because then it, that's what just pops your eyes. So I'll go ahead and use the Tartius Lash Paint Mascara. And it's super um, volumizing. So don't hesitate to put generous coats of this mascara. And in order to pop, make your eyes pop a bit more, um, I will go in with a the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude um, and line my waterline with this. This is an optional step, you do not have to do this. But I like, uh, especially when I'm doing very light coverage makeup with hardly any eyeshadow on, I like to do this step to make my eyes pop. All right, so on to face. Um, for this natural looking makeup look, I will simply just be bronzing my face and I will not be going and contouring it because that's not natural. <laughs> so for that, I will be using my NARS um, Casino Bronzer and taking an angled brush, I will just go ahead and just um, apply it in the hollows of my cheeks and the perimeter of my face. And for this makeup look, I will be using the most natural looking blush that I have and it is the Sigma Cheeky Powder Blush and I'll just go ahead and lightly dab that on the apples of my cheeks. And now on to highlighting. This is one makeup look you can go overboard with uh, the highlighting because then uh, it'll look like your face is glowing from within. I will be using the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Depth and I will be going in with um, all four shades actually. I'll mix in all four shades and highlight the high points of, of my face. I want to make sure that uh, you're highlighting the right areas of your face especially where the um, light hits first. And for lips for this look, I will be using a nude shade. And for that, I will be using uh, Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in uh, Seren Serenata. Serenata. I got this in one of those liquid lipstick trios for um, Stila that they uh, just recently launched with a few other nude shades. So I really love this shade because it's taupey. It's a taupey nude color, which is perfect for a uh, no makeup makeup look. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. I, ho I hope that this was not a lot of uh, work for you guys. 
um, it took me longer to film this than actually um, create this so I know for sure it's it's a very simple makeup look um, it would work for work for when you're just lazing around at home and you still want to look glamorous <laughs> this would work for all of those um, you know occasions um, a lot of the steps in here are optional uh, except a few of course the foundation the concealer etc uh, you don't have to do it exactly the way I've done it uh, this is just so you can be inspired to create your version of a no makeup makeup look so if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there I would really appreciate it and I will see you all next time bye